of us dream about something different as to how and where we live, but sometimes people make it real and chase a tree change. Now, one man who falls into that category owns this stunning property in New South Wales' Kangaroo Valley, and I reckon you might know who he is. Larry Emder. Joe, I brought you a barrow full of logs. Some souvenir logs from Kangaroo Valley. Maybe it should be Lumberjack Larry Emder. <laughs> Do you like? How are you? You're good, good. How are you going? I'm good, but this is next level amazing. Do you like my shipping containers? It is incredible. So how long have you guys had this? Oh, uh, we've had it for about a year. Yeah. And, um, and we love it. Like, yeah. We spend as much time as we possibly can here. I can't wait to get inside and have a look at it. All right, you ready? Yeah, but I'm not allowed to take that. No, no, they stay here. They were too heavy anyway. <laughs> Oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Cool shed, huh? So is it a shouse? A sh or is it a bouse? <laughs> What's a bouse? A barn house? Barn house? <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a bouse shouse. <laughs> a bouse shouse. It's good, isn't it? Wow, this is kind of unlike anything else I've really ever seen. Yeah, it's kind of raw and industrial yeah. and, um, and, and cool. Every piece of furniture is phenomenal. I mean, look at this. this is... So this is a table. Huge. So um, the architect, Alexander Michael, it's all about repurposing things. Yeah. So this is a fabulous old table underneath from, I think, from GPO. So everything, um, most everything here is, is sort of repurposed or um, recycled or something like that, including me. <laughs> including me. <laughs> Jeez, I've been recycled you and me so both. many times. <laughs> right, right, right. All the lights, you can see the little lights around. They're lights, lights from yeah. ships. Um, these big lamps here, they're um, cut in half gas cylinders. Wow. So it's that sort of stuff. Oh, that's quite the statement. It's light a, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like to use that, you know, the ring light for your selfies. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> so has he left everything as he designed it? Or have you yes. added stuff to it? No. no you haven't I, had to do I, anything? No, no we, we dare not interfere with with Alexander Michael's designs. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no, and, and that was the beauty of the place as well. Yeah. You walk in and go, okay, this is the way that everything's meant to be. It's just that little gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, 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 and that's that's it. Little secrets everywhere. You know, we're still finding things today that we haven't seen yet. Piles and piles of books and little uh, knickknacks and things, and, and the way he's built it is very special. And you've, you've actually got four shipping containers for the bedrooms now, which is amazing, because yeah. at this level, there's so much glass. Yeah, 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 it's perfect. Want to see my pods? <laughs> Never heard that before, but Come yeah. up and see my pods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Joe, this is the uh, Raphael Nadal Memorial <laughs> Staircase. Wow, a tennis net for balustrade. <laughs> Ask me why they're there. Why, why, why are they there? No idea. <laughs> So, Joe, this is where the, uh, the shipping container magic starts. Oh, wow. These are huge. Yeah. Oh, so that's the shipping container part there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So four of these, and they're self-contained bedrooms, each with an ensuite, and, and each sort of individually designed. And again, all these little quirky touches. Yeah, things yeah, 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 yeah. Things like this, so the old, the old jerry can. But oh, that is a shaving, awesome. <laughs> a shaving cabinet. How cool is that? So it's all this good gear, and you can just poke around the house. Again, it's like being in a, some sort of design studio. I mean, it feels like a total escapism because, I mean, this is yeah. so different to anything that I've been in. The, I think the thing I love about it is that you're actually sharing it with other people. People can actually book here and come with a yeah. bunch of mates or their families yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. literally rent this out themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually did see some hilarious vision of Sam Mack when he stayed here. Sam Mack. <laughs> Sam Mack. <laughs> Because you do have frosting in those bathrooms, we should mention. You have frost. This is very easy. You, you yeah. flick a switch. Can't see out. Yep. Can't see out. No one yep. can see in. Can't see out. Sam Mack, sunrise weatherman, decides to uh, use the shower with the frosting unfrosted. <laughs> yep. Which his girlfriend do. decided to capture and put up on social media, which made me laugh. I mean, it's funny how it's actually something that you guys fell in love with, but it's yeah. kind of turned into this little business that you've got on the side. Yeah, a little side hustle. Yeah. Well, because you can never, ever rely on TV, Joe. <laughs> so as the man who's worked in it for about 50 years straight, started very young. 100, 150 <laughs> years, maybe. All right, that's our cue. Oh, we're no, talking no. about that. 
I can see why this is so important for you to have as a balance to how crazy your working life is. Yeah, yeah, because it's so busy right now. But <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> it's good to get here and get some fresh air, and I, I just go and get lost. Like, I can yeah. just sort of go down there, and Sylvie's yelling out where <laughs> You're just like, I'm just connecting back with nature. Is it exhausting? I mean, you are working six days a week. Um, but it's fun. You know what? I love TV. I've never done anything else. I, don't, I couldn't do anything else. Yeah, okay. So I really do love the studio, the TV concept, the you know, the lights and the cameras. Okay, so this is the traditional one. This will help your abs. The and endurance of the morning show. I mean, that, that yeah. has been a revelation. It, it changed morning TV for that mid-morning time, didn't it? Well, uh, it sounds really good when you say it like that. <laughs> I've never thought of it like that. But, but it, seriously, it when you and good. Kylie started it, you wouldn't have expected it to have the longevity and had the impact no. and the market that it has. It's no. huge. We, we came on for, I think it was a three or six month test period. Yeah. And we've just celebrated 14 years. Unbelievable. And 14 years at number one. Thank you everyone for watching for 14 years. <laughs> um, so that, that's, that's, it's phenomenal. that's been phenomenal. And that is my, that really, you know, um, is my first love of TV. Now, for those of you who appreciate fine lavatories, you may be disappointed to find out that the inside, well, it's not really all that much to get flushed about. No, it's been so fun catching up with you and, and seeing how much joy you get out of this place and the fact you share it with me. Um, is there anything that this man cannot do? <laughs> How good is this? So guests here, they can organise masseuses or um, uh, yoga instructors on the deck or the guys from Bumpy Road Catering oh my can come up and do your dinners or your lunch. Look at this. And this is all local produce, Joe. Oh, this is amazing. Now, you know how you and Sylvie thought you are going to have this awesome romantic yes. weekend by yourselves? I'm staying. No. I'm going to help you eat this. Sylvie, prepare the <laughs> shed. <laughs> Wow. Enjoy. Let's go. Seriously, it's been so much fun, Larry. Thanks Always for coming. Always great to catch up with you.